Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, the monitors have better color than the, than the big screen, but, um, you know, if, if you got a high ceiling, uh, we can take care of that. Um, a lot of the tongue and groove um, that you have and people want to have a light white kind of finally comes back after a thousand years, everything's kind of white. Um, what we want to do is, is to caulk in all those grooves and make the thing look solid. So that's, uh, that's kind of neat. But anyway, you can see on the left, the guy with the spray gun is shooting the paint and the gentleman on the right has a roller and we're rolling it so we get deep penetration and all that um, tongue and groove. So that was a, you know, a natural ceiling at one point and now it's a, a white ceiling. So, so were you over Rob Wood? Yeah. Yeah, we were. Did you undercoat it? <coughs> undercoat it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's a it's a prime cock and two coat wow. system <laughs> that we pretty much use like on everything. Yeah. But then it looks like a candy show. Here's a restoration project that uh, went on in Long Beach, um, and that this project was with Bruce Beinlich in Beinlich Construction. He used to be a, a member here, and I'm doing a project for him. Uh, finishing one now, and we got another one going in Fullerton. Um, this is the historic house. Yeah, historic district in Long Beach. Wow, it's, it's a fun, fun thing to do. You've got what a green, and then and then that um, kind of that creamy whitish, and then you got a red gable up in there, and it's just a gigantic pain in the butt. So, <laughs> you know, you got, yeah, and but, it but anyway, it, it came out really nice. It's pretty cool. Um, and it's the monitors are a better look. It's too bad that that doesn't come out better. Anyway, um, we can take that on. You know, if someone's got a board and batten house in, in Long Beach. Um, uh, we've done it, and we've got uh, photographic um, evidence that we've done it, and uh, we know the ins and outs outs of that, and we can deal with the city and historic colors and make sure they're, they're well taken care of. Um, this is kind of a neat project because these are fun pictures to have where we have like a lot going on. Um, we got a gentleman on top there. I'm sure that passes all OSHA standards. But, um, <laughs> you can't see it. Uh, it's on his ankle. Best place for it. But you can see that the fascia board down at the just above that little pop out there has been removed and the debris is at the bottom down there so we've taken off uh, termite damaged wood and we can replace that so we do some wood repair so you can tell people hey I've got a lot of termite stuff and you go hey don't worry about it man John Thomas and his team can take care of uh, some wood repair you know if we can't handle it, we got Terry termite in the group he can come out and he's a great guy he's a really great company to refer because he has really good carpenters which just isn't the rule um, when it comes to termite companies, yeah, but yeah. we can we can take those things on, um, and we're ready to go. Um, downtown in Huntington, there's those big uh, they tear down an old cottage house like the one next door, mm -hmm. and they build you know a, a big 2,800 square foot bowling alley, <laughs> and um, yeah. and they you know they're a little bit more tricky to paint, um, but we've done them and. They come out great. They're, they're they're fun, but we've done that, and it might be something that somebody goes, "Well, that's a big job. You know, a lot of elevation there. You know, you need some forty foot ladders, and you can do that. That nice little uh, chimney there. That was fun up there. You know. Guy hanging off the side. I didn't see that. Great heights. <laughs> all all OSHA standard, no problem. Okay, this is a um, kind of a, a before shot where their paint had gotten kind of um, faded out and they were looking to get it updated and um, we worked with some different colors and some colorists. Um, a neat thing you can tell the customers that if they don't can't decide on their colors, um, almo almost all of the um, manufacturers now have a colorist that will come out, Dun Edwards does, and, and Sherman Williams will come out and help you pick out your colors. Um, we're applicators and we can go through the process and help you do that. But I mean, these people are professionally trained. They're, you know, they have a degree in art or whatever they have a degree in or in interior and exterior design. Um, it, it just seems like it comes out better, you know, and it's like, bam, 
it came out really sweet. That was a neat. Does anybody recognize that picture? Okay, good. Because these are all rehashed. It's pretty good. Um, from previous speeches, I went and put, took a bunch of old stuff. Nice all hey, John, right. do you get any business from your signs out on the yards? Do you get <clears throat> calls from those? I get it off the truck. <laughs> yes. Not so much ah, the signs off the sign, oh, but you do occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you, you know, you're getting your new customers um, through the networking group, through word of mouth, and through internet search, and it's amazing, you know, the power of the, of the website and feeding that, and, and having stories that, of a project in Costa Mesa, Fullerton, Huntington Beach, Fountain Valley. Um, it's, it's great how you get put in front of these people. Um, it's so powerful. Uh, there we go, garage doors that are wood. I don't recommend a wood garage door at all. Um, Never. But people like it. It's a great look, but it just seems like every two, three <coughs> years, you know, you're going to have to go back and do something with it. Um, we've done them. They come out fantastic. This one faces east, so it gets dew in the morning, and then the sun shines on it, and you know it's just anyway. But you know, they they asked me how long. <laughs> what's what's the best thing to do to make this last longer? I say, paint it, paint it, paint it. Yeah, yeah. they didn't like that. Paint it every year. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah. Well, the monitor makes it look. You can you know that's. Looks nice. Yeah. They need to upgrade to like about an 80 inch flat screen TV up there. Is it right in the It's true. We can go over to Sam's Club right now and bring one back <laughs> for a thousand bucks, probably. <laughs> but anyway, that might not be something that you would think about. You might see that. You might know somebody that has one of those doors and they're like, what do I do? I, I'm not happy with the last applicator. Um, you know, give us a shot. We can come out and take a look at it. Um, this is one of those, you know, lots going on. Thomas Paine truck outside there, signs sign on the back, people up doing stuff. Um, this is one of those things where the HOA wanted them just to paint their shutters. It's up in um, Newport Coast. Well, there we go. But anyway, that was in Newport Coast. We can go into Newport Coast. We can do work there. Um, that was a great project. Uh, this one here um, was an interesting thing where there it is again. I want wood on the front of my house. Mm. You know, and we had to sand that all off. And um, yeah, beach, beach environment, beach environment. Yeah. But then there we go. It does. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks great for about a year. Is that red wood? It looks great for a year. Two years. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it does, but it, it ages quickly, and it's you know it's just you know, it's job security. Yeah, I just had the stripes in the wood, the little planks that go over the hardwood. So, John, can you spray some on? Okay. Some heat from things of that. Thompson's we tried all that. It's just, you know, in three years it's going to need it again. It's just, and you can use the very most expensive material or you can use the, lead, and then it's kind of like, it's just, it, yeah, so you get a mid-range thing, um, the thing to do. You know, what happens with homes is that if, they, if a homeowner, and in this case, treated this like he does his car, he gets his car washed every week, he waxes it and puts it on. If you did to that wood, it would last a long time. No one does that. They go to the home, it's just been sitting out there in the elements for 15 years, and they go, why is the paint peeling? I can't believe it. Well, my dad painted it, you know, blah, 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 or my, you know, back in our time. And, uh, all right. Last yeah, everything lasted 50 years. The washer never broke, and the, and the refrigerator still works. So I don't know. Yeah, it's just a lot of truth to that, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, that, that, that's if you really want a paint job to last a long time, you would, you know, power wash your house probably every six months. Um, I mean, they treat the they treat the windows better than they do the than, than what's really going on, you know, with the stucco. Is that a paint or is that a stain? That's a stain. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Looks nice. Right. Yeah. So anyway, any questions?
Okay. Anybody? Can you make it rise to a little bit like this? Twenty-seven years. <coughs> yeah. Twenty-seven. Huh? Uh, what you oh, can you make a uh, roll-up garage door look like a oh, wood door? Yes. There you go. It's yes. a jogger. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that answer. So, so something I implemented, yeah. on my business, <laughs> I implemented on my business, and I think would be amazing for your business, like drive more business. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I go to my, my installer show up to a house now, they go to obviously meet the customer, and then I make one of the guys go knock on every door and say, hey, we're doing construction in your neighbor's house. We're going to be a little loud. Is it okay if we park here? Just want to let you know we're going to be here for a couple days. Give them a card. Well, they're here. While they're there, those neighbors always come over and start talking, and we get the neighbor's business, too. Yeah, that's, so that that's, might be something if you guys do that. Well, that's kind of how I got in the business. The parking. I like I like the little pitch though. Hey, we're going to be over here. It's not like hi, we're here. We want your business. It's just let them know. Hey, no if you park here, we're going to be loud. Just we want to make sure you're happy. If you have an issue, like here's that. my here's my card. Here's my number. Call me for too loud. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. good. That's good. Yeah, Cam neighborhood canvassing uh, works um, and that's kind of how I got in the business because when I lost my job uh, with an old retailer named Buffums um, I was on unemployment my wife was pregnant and uh, we needed money and uh, unemployment was running out and so my buddy um, said hey come paint my garage doors down in Atlanta and Magnolia new homes there and I was painting the garage door, and a guy came across the street and goes, hey, that looks really nice. Uh, can you come and give me a bid on the project? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. So I went across, <laughs> and I, I had no idea what I was doing. And he, he said, how much? And I told him, and he said, well, how much money do you need to get started? And I didn't know you could do that. You know, yeah. And I said, $200. And he goes, okay, and he gave me $200. And so I'm like, I, get, I drove home, I'm like, hey, let's go to the store and get some food. And... Um, Basically, what happened is like every time I was there, just like um, Victor was talking about, we have what I call our props up. You got ladders, you got primer out, you're caulking, you're doing all this prep. It's like theater. People come by, people would come by and ask me, you know, to give them a competitive bid. And so one day I just stopped fighting and I went and got my license. And, you know, it's like I didn't know. All of a sudden, 27 years later, here I am. You know, and I showed up to this group and I painted um, Glenn and um, Guy Ballard's um, <coughs> offices. It was like my first job. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Oh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Because I was slow in the summertime, so I pulled out this tickler wow. file and I was invited through a mailer um, that they would send out, um, why don't you try lay tip networking? And networking with, you know, 20 years ago was kind of a hot buzzword. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I called up and they said, um, hey, we're having a beach party. You want to come to the beach party? I'm like, oh, the old beach party. All right. Yeah, that's right. So, I, and that time, and, and that time, I enjoy, I enjoyed adult beverages. So I got there, and there was adult beverages going around, and I thought, well, I'd fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 we go. But anyway, I, I, that's what's going on there. So, it's it's been fun. So, it, and probably one day we're going to show up, and the whole group's going to retire. And, and <laughs> So we gotta get more people. In there. We gotta we gotta get this thing to, to sustain itself, you know. So anyway, and here's the next picture. Until next time. That's awesome. Um, and then I'll leave you with one last one. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. One last shot. Um, I hopefully I'm gonna be able to get back. But a year ago in October, I took a trip to Mexico and went to the surf camp, and I had a really good time. And here's one one shot of me. Um, doing my thing so, so I do see I can surf and I can surf and uh, this was a great place it's north of Lazatlan about oh hour 90 minutes and they're good friends of the cartel so everything was great <laughs> Sir, all right. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Thank you.